The key elements of a medical device QMS include a quality policy and quality objectives, which set the overall direction and goals for the organization's quality management efforts. A quality manual, which describes the organization's quality management system and its processes and procedures. Standard Operating Procedures, SOPs, which provide step-by-step -step instructions for conducting specific activities within the organization, such as product testing and release. Documentation and Record Keeping Systems, which ensure that all relevant information is accurately and comprehensively documented and readily available for review and audit. Training and competency programs, which ensure that all employees have the necessary knowledge, skills, and abilities to perform their job duties effectively. Supplier management and control systems, which ensure the organization's suppliers and subcontractors meet the same quality standards as the organization itself. Risk management and hazard control processes, which identify, assess, and mitigate potential risks and hazards associated with the organization's products and processes. Design and development processes, which ensure that new medical devices are designed and developed in accordance with the organization's quality standards and regulatory requirements. Production and process control systems, which ensure that medical devices are manufactured consistently and in accordance with the organization's specifications and requirements. Inspection, testing, and validation processes, which ensure that medical devices are inspected, tested, and validated before they are released for sale or distribution. Nonconformance and corrective action processes, which ensure that any nonconforming products or processes are identified, investigated, and addressed in a timely and effective manner. Post-market surveillance and continuous improvement processes, which ensure that the organization monitors the performance of its medical devices in the field and takes action to address any issues or concerns that may arise. But first, let's clear up some misconceptions regarding the standards requirements. The interpretation of ISO 13485-2016 will be covered in the following course. The first misconception to clear up in ISO 13485-2016 is the difference between processes and procedures. The main difference between a process and a procedure in the context of medical devices is that a process is a more general term that refers to a set of steps or actions that are taken to achieve a specific result, while a procedure is a specific way of doing something, often using a set of detailed instructions. According to ISO 13485-2016, processes are the activities that convert inputs to value-added outputs. It means that every operation of your company must be observed as a process, meaning that all of the inputs, necessary resources, documents, activities, and outputs must be identified from each operation. We need to understand that in the context of a QMS, a process adds value to the inputs. By contrast, a procedure is a standardized and a documented way of conducting a process. In other words, a procedure is the written document that describes the details of the process. If you need more information, you can watch our lesson of the QMS Pyramid Model, where we explain the five levels of a QMS document management system. Therefore, a good QMS should take care of all the processes and the way they are linked, the way the outputs of a process become the inputs of other processes, and how an organization manages the relationship is key for having an efficient and effective QMS. I guess you are aware of the PDCA cycle, plan, do, check, act, which is often used to describe activities according to the standard. The model demands that you should plan how you are going to do something, do it as you have planned, check the result, and then act accordingly. This is an elaborate way of saying that you should plan what you do and check what you got. Once you set up your system based on the process, 
you will be able to monitor and measure them, their effectiveness and their efficiency, and then improve them.